My name is Teresa, I'm 37 years old. Um, I'm a single mother to my seven-year-old son, Reese. Um, I enjoy going to the gym seven days a week. I work for a company, pharmaceutical company, United Drug. I found a lump while in the shower and immediately went to the doctor. I didn't suspect it was anything serious as I had such a healthy lifestyle and I really didn't have time for it to have breast cancer. On my first day's appointment in St James's Hospital, um, I was sent for a mammogram, biopsy and ultrasound. By the end of that first appointment, I was under no illusion that I did have breast cancer. So the next few weeks were a whirlwind. I was immediately given um, a treatment plan of chemotherapy, um, mastectomy and ra six weeks radiation. Um, it was a whirlwind, but right from the beginning I decided that I could face this disease with a positive attitude, a smile on my face, and only give cancer three hours a week, and that would be while I was in getting my chemotherapy. Other than that, I pushed cancer to the side, and I continued raising my son, exercising, doing the things I loved, because I wasn't going to let it define me as a person. And it put my life on hold, in certain ways, health-wise, for one year. Um, I did regain my life back very quickly after my treatments. I'm here, I'm healthier than ever. I'm exactly the way I was prior to breast cancer. It hasn't changed my personality. I'm probably fitter than I ever was, certainly happier. Um, and I'm just ready to live the rest of my life and show other girls that breast cancer isn't a death, death sentence. There is life after it. Initially when I received my diagnosis for breast cancer, I was fearful. The main fear for me was the unknown. I wasn't sure what to expect during treatment. I didn't know how chemo was going to affect me. I had a thing in my head that it was going to be like in the movies, that you shrivel up, you don't look like the person you are anymore, you're too sick to do anything. That wasn't the case. After my first chemo um, session, I realised that I walked out the same person who walked into that hospital. Even though I was scared going in, I, once I knew what I had to face, I was able to deal with it then. I knew what the inside of a chemo ward looked like and I knew what it felt to be given chemotherapy. So that was when the fear kind of fell away for me. One thing that always stuck in my mind was I would look at my son and I would always worry, will I be there for when he makes his communion? And thankfully I know I will be. Treatment-wise you wonder, will you be able to carry out your day-to-day -day life the way you did? And I did. I, and it was when I made the decision, I, I lay in bed and cancer is a very lonely disease. It doesn't matter if you have, if you're in a room crowded with people or you have somebody lying beside you in the bed. It's you and the disease because nobody knows what goes on in your mind when you're on your own and you fight that disease alone and it's when you can get your head around the disease and the treatment, that's when it becomes easier. I felt I was invincible before I got breast cancer. I was too fit to have breast cancer. I was too young. There was no cancer in my family. I just, and I didn't have the time. I had a seven-year-old son that I had to be there for. Due to research, Treatment now isn't as harsh as it was years ago. It has led to breast cancer being a manageable disease that people can live with. And during treatment, they can function in their day-to-day -day lives. They will no longer be kept in a bed all day feeling ill. The good days outweigh the bad days. And that is all down to research and how forward we have come in our treatment of breast cancer. Breast Cancer Ireland's mission is to transform breast cancer from being a fatal disease now to a long-term manageable illness. And that's why I feel so passionately about Breast Cancer Ireland's research because I'm testimony to where this has led us. Join me today and download Breast Cancer Ireland's Breast Aware free app and share with the girls closest in your life.